How many times have you found yourself getting so excited to purchase that special item you've been saving up for? You're constantly looking at the tracking code, looking in the mail every day hoping that it's gonna be there, and finally it comes and oddly enough the excitement starts to fade. You use it one or two times and then you find it two years later in your closet full of dust. Even worse, you have to sell it to some asshole who practically steals it from you because you prefer the money over it sitting there. So how can we stop making these impulsive decisions? A wise man once said, a stupid person never learns, a smart person learns from their mistakes, and a wise person learns from the mistakes of others. In this case, you guys are the wise, <laughs> and I will be showing you guys all of the purchases that I have made that have been absolutely incredible, things that I use on a daily basis, which were well worth the amount of money that I paid for it, so hopefully, maybe you guys can enjoy these things as well. So the first thing that was well worth the purchase was my jewelry collection, and it's probably worth around $4,000, mostly consisting of sterling silver, which we know is a very durable material. So in terms of how long this is gonna last, let's just say it's most likely gonna outlast me, the next generation after that, and then the one after that as well. But the real reason this was well worth the money is because jewelry literally transforms your outfit. Without jewelry, your outfit looks basic. To this day, I've literally never left the house without at least a massive gold Cuban Jane on. <laughs> so if you don't have any jewelry, it's probably one of the best investments you can do in terms of like a style investment. Now the second thing is this fine piece of tech you see right here. This is my LG curved ultra wide 4K monitor. This has a price tag of around $1,300 or at least when I bought it, that's how much it cost and was definitely the best decision I've ever made in terms of technology purchase. The amount of screen real estate this thing has is absolutely obscene and it tremendously increases the rate at which I complete these videos that you guys watch. This is literally an editor's white dream. I can stretch my timeline all the way across my screen. I can see everything, every single frame. It's just so nice. And just because you're not an editor doesn't mean this isn't for you either. I would say that this is perfect for everybody. If you're a student, you know, you're doing some research Search on one side, you're writing your essay on the other, you can split the screen, you have two pieces there. Or even if you just work from home, this is just, it's so nice to have the extra screen real estate if you wanna be more productive and that sort of thing. Third item is my Bose QC45 headphones. So I purchased these around four months ago and I probably wear them about 70% of the day. I wear them to the gym, I wear them when editing, I wear them when reading, I even wear them when I go swimming. <laughs> okay, the swimming thing is obviously jokes. But I, like I said, I wear these about 70% of the time and the main reason I bought these was because of how comfortable they are. It literally says it in the name, QC45, meaning quiet comfort. I've literally never thought that, damn, I feel like there's a hydraulic press crushing my head right now. I can sleep with them on and totally forget that they're on my head. And my most favorite part about these headphones is the noise canceling. You can get rid of all the really annoying noises. I'm joking, I love my mom. But my mom does work from home all day long. She doesn't have an office door, so throughout the day, all you hear is this. <laughs> you were going to be there in half an hour. Um, okay, because, um so when I want to focus, it's practically impossible. But when I throw these things on, the noise just seems to like completely disappear. I can't hear anything. Fourth thing is my Coach card holder. I've probably had this thing for about four years now. It looks almost as new as the day that I purchased it. And it gets thrown on practically every surface known to man. Constant abrasion with my keys. And it's literally handled it like a champ. Coach obviously isn't the cheapest, but it's also not the most expensive either. Like you got your brands like LV, where you're going to get the exact same quality, but you're going to spend, you know, five times the price plus your kidney. And I ain't got no kidneys to hand out, I, I need mine. So Coach is that perfect middle ground where you don't pay too much for the brand name, but you're still gonna get that high quality, durable leather that's gonna last you a really long time. Fifth thing is books. And this is gonna have to be like a completely separate video because there's so much to cover when it comes to books. Things that I've learned from books is literally part of the reason why I have been able to achieve what I have in the past you know, two years. They expand your mind to the possibilities of what's capable, constantly question your beliefs, teach you about the woman's private parts, and most importantly, importantly, helps you become the more evolved version of yourself. This is by far the best decision I've ever made was purchasing that first book because it ended up turning into this. The sixth item is my cologne collection. How can you be a stud if you don't smell like a stud? Aside from completely changing your appearance, your scent is probably the one thing that's gonna give you an extra three points on the attractiveness scale. You could be the worst looking dude in the world, but put on an absolutely banging cologne and you're automatically more attractive. So having a great scent is so important. Once you find one that you really like, kind of disregard the price. I mean, unless it's like ridiculous, 
ridiculous amounts of money, but typically ones that are 100 to $200 are well worth it because they last you quite a few months and you're obviously gonna become more attractive to the opposite gender. <laughs> the seventh thing is this camera that I'm recording on right now. This is a Sony a7C with a Sigma 20 to 70 millimeter f2.8 lens. Whole setup being around $4,500 and due to my job, this is obviously the most important piece of equipment I own. Without this crispy video and the perfect images, my OnlyFans wouldn't be popping. <laughs> Some of you definitely were just like, oh shit, I'm pulling up 20 right now. But this camera has literally transformed my Instagram feed, increased the quality of my videos, which has increased the amount of collaborations I get. So investing in this camera and my lens has literally made me quite a lot of money. So I really appreciate you, camera. You're absolutely amazing. <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya!